Hong Kong, police have carried out dozens of arrests and used water cannon and tear gas against protesters. Taking back many of our rights. Yeah. Terrifying scale of Australia's bushfire disaster is beginning to emerge. Coronavirus declared a public health emergency. The worst is yet ahead of us. It's a virus that many people still don't understand. India has seen days of unrest after Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government passed a new citizenship law. Nifty is below 9,000. The Sensex is 3,000. Virus has spread across the globe, so fears of economic turbulence have fallen. World Health Organization has officially just declared coronavirus a global pandemic. This is the first pandemic caused by a coronavirus. Some porna lockdown hone jara. Mr. Narendra Modi, who announced that the entire country will be under lockdown for the coming 21 days. Of it is Earth Day after all today, and like everything else, that means something slightly different during a pandemic. Now, India and Pakistan are facing their worst plague of locusts in decades. In one of the most powerful cyclones to hit India and Bangladesh for years. Cyclone Amphan uprooted trees, brought down electricity and telephone lines. At least eight people have been killed after chemical gas leaked from a factory in India. A plane crash in Pakistan. An Airbus jet with nearly 100 people on board went down in a residential neighborhood. Rail are proceeding back, sir. We have lost engines. Sir, Mayday, 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 Pakistan at 303. George Floyd repeatedly told the officers that he could not breathe. Give black people their rights, or we will burn this country to ashes. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon Line and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bye to Doug. Mumbai is bracing itself for the first ever severe cyclone to hit the coast tomorrow. Cyclone Nisarga is expected to, expected to hit the coastal districts of Maharashtra and Gujarat. Thousands of tons of diesel fuel have leaked into local waterways around the city of Norilsk. There is a heat wave of historic proportions occurring in the Arctic right now, a region that is already the fastest warming place on Earth. Temperatures have been more than five degrees above average across much of Siberia. To explain in graphic detail what happened to Jairaj and his son Phoenix during this past one week in a town in my state called Tutukudi or Tutikorin. In India, there's growing anger over the deaths of a father and son in police custody in the southern state of Tamil Nadu. Indian Army, which is saying 20 of its soldiers have been killed by Chinese troops in the disputed Kashmir region. This is the first deadly clash on this border in 45 years. The Indian government has banned dozens of Chinese-owned apps over apparent security concerns. Now, the list includes the messaging service WeChat and the wildly popular video platform TikTok. Floods have ravaged large parts of Assam and Bihar. Flood waters have claimed a large number of lives. Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is almost in the last leg of its trials and the Serum Institute of India has been chosen as their manufacturing partner in India. Scenes are absolutely the way out of the pandemic and this is a really important moment because it shows that we can make the robust immune responses which we hope will relate to protection in the future.